with bagel like this. Happy New Year's Eve. By the time you guys watch this, it'll be New Year's. So, Happy New Year, Happy 2024. I figured we could spend New Year's Eve together because I feel like that's gonna be a fun way to close out the year. As you guys saw, we've had a busy morning so far. I slept in really late today. We went on vacation for Christmas and we were waking up at like 9 a.m. every morning. So I slept in really late today, longer than I wanted to, but we got up, got our workout in, we took a walk, and then had lunch and watched a little bit of football. But I am super excited for this new year. I feel like I had such a great 2023, and the 2024 is just going to be even better. We are going to set up my vision board probably later in this vlog, so we'll like talk more about goals later on. But I am all dressed and in comfy clothes for the day. I have some cleaning to get done, pick up a few things, so lots of errands, lots of cleaning and organizing today. And then tonight we're going to spend time with Lil's family for a little New Year's Eve celebration. So, should be a fun day. We need to get started cleaning. It is late in the afternoon. It's three o'clock. So we need to start cleaning so that we can get ready for the party tonight. I don't know if we'll have time to make our vision board today. We might do it tomorrow. But we have lots to do and not enough time. So let's get started with cleaning. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. So a lot has changed. So last time I talked to you guys, I think I was vacuuming my bathroom floor. <clears throat> For whatever reason, the universe wants me to suffer the end of the year, go out the bang. Because my throat started hurting. And you guys know if you've been here for a while, I get sick every two months it feels like. But <clears throat> right now it's just my throat. Nothing else hurts. But we were supposed to go out like I mentioned to you guys earlier. I'm not going out anywhere. I just don't feel up for it. And if for whatever reason I'm not sick, you know, I don't want to risk it if I am sick, giving it to other people. So... Instead, we ordered in, and Lavelle's making, making chicken nuggets, if you guys can, can hear an air fryer going in the background, but we ordered Panera. And I have some immune support tea. We got the mac and cheese and chicken noodle soup, and then we've been eating the bread. So very wild, crazy New Year's Eve for us, but it is what it is. Honestly, I was expecting to get sick because every time we go on vacation, I get sick. 
Except for Dallas. I didn't get sick when we went to Dallas. Lavelle got sick, but it, I didn't get sick. But every time we go out of town, my birthday, a cruise, I get sick. So, <laughs> whatever. Hopefully it's not and it's just whatever. Maybe it's the chemicals I was using to clean the bathroom. I don't really know. The last time I was sick on New Year's was 20... 2020, 2019 going into 2020, and then 2020 going into 2021. Do you remember that? 2019, we went out to the club for New Year's Eve, and we got sick, and we thought oh. it was COVID. We figured it might have been COVID. Because COVID didn't stop like that. Yep, and then we had COVID 2020 going into 2021, and it was nine days before our wedding, and that was so scary. I feel like at this point, it's a tradition for me to be sick New Year's mm -hmm. Eve and not be able to do anything. I don't know. I just. He's a bit. Why are you a. Wait, why is he a vampire? Is he a vampire? What did you do? I didn't do anything. I promise. How did you do? I promise I didn't do anything. Happy New Year. Wow. 2024. Happy New Year, guys. I hope you guys are having a fun and safe night. I'm gonna head to bed because my throat is hurting really bad. Lavelle has a headache and I've been up playing Sims for like the past five hours, so. Happy New Year, I will hopefully talk to you guys tomorrow. Hopefully I feel better tomorrow. Hi guys, it has been a very, very long time. I am no longer sick, thankfully. We are feeling much, much better. But I wanted to continue this vlog because technically my new year never really started for me. I'm claiming that my new year is starting now. <laughs> so we're just gonna continue on, and something I really want to work on in 2024 is not like scrapping videos just because something doesn't go my way, because in the past I've done that, where, my hands are so ashy. In the past I've done that where like a video won't go the way I planned it to, or something will happen and I'll stop recording and then I'll just delete all the footage and never post it, which I've done that more times than I would like to admit, so I really want to stop doing that. Really the reason why I do social media is to connect with people. So it wouldn't be very fair to myself or you guys if I'm constantly like scrapping things and they're not perfect because my life is far from perfect. But yeah, we're going to continue on today. So I have a couple things that I want to get done. I want to make my vision board. I printed out fixtures at Walgreens. I have to go pick that up. I want to go to Target because I want to get command strips and then I need to buy a makeup bag. Something else we're going to do today is organize my bathroom closet and my bathroom like makeup drawer I, you guys will see later it's disgusting so i want to find some way to organize my makeup it's already one o'clock i have wasted majority of my morning i got super hyper fixated is that how you say it hyper fixated i don't know i got super like obsessed with finding this girl i used to watch on youtube and i was literally scrolling through my youtube history and i got all the way to july 2022 and then my camera time not my camera then my computer timed out on me and kicked me back to the top so I got really frustrated but I ended up finding her so now I feel like I can start my day it's also really cold in our house we're trying we're trying really hard not to pay a really heavy hefty bill you live in Arizona you already know this but our AC bill is like $300 in the summer so not having our AC on in the winter saves us so much money but it's really freaking cold it's like 62 in the house right now which some people are probably like that's not even cold but it's cold for Arizona people so I have my heater I'm gonna plug this up somewhere oh right here and then we will get ready for the day I kind of want to do my eyelashes but I might not while I get ready I'm gonna listen to the new 21 Savage album because it came out yesterday I feel like it's been so long since I've done my lashes that they look weird to me. So hopefully with doing the rest of my makeup. <laughs> They look better or else I'm going to take them off and I'm just going to do mascara. Because right now I feel like I look crazy. Just 
all ready to go. The lashes look better now, I think, now that my whole face is done, but I definitely don't think I'm a lash girl anymore. We're gonna head to Walgreens first, pick that up. I'm honestly surprised I haven't canceled my order because I literally put it in December 30th and it's been like three weeks since, so. We'll do that first. Oh, I really don't wanna go into Target, but I think it's too late to do a pickup. And knowing me, if I go into Target, I'm gonna spend a lot more money than I need to. But I also need to be an adult and just be strong. I'm just gonna go into Target, we're gonna be responsible and not spend money. <laughs> Let's go. I put this beanie on, cause I thought it was gonna be a lot colder outside, but it's not that cold. It's so much colder in our house than it is outside. It's 60, but it's sunny outside, so it makes it feel a lot hotter than it is. My God. Uh, love Arizona sometimes, but also hate Arizona sometimes. So it's super easy. Whenever I go pick, there's someone pulling in next to me. Whatever. I feel like whenever I go pick up photos from this Walgreens, they never find me until I have to like repeat my name like four times, but she finally found it. So I just want to look at them and make sure they look okay. I took a peek while I was in the store before I paid just in case. They look good. Oh my gosh. Okay, these are actually really good. Cool, okay, these look really good. I'm excited to make my vision board later today. So, so happy that these turned out so good. And that only it only cost me $11.67 to get 27 photos printed out, so. Not bad at all. Um, let's go ahead and head to Target and get the last bit of stuff from there. I kind of want to go to Home Goods and get organization stuff because I know Home Goods will probably have a better selection, but I know Home Goods is going to be disgusting on a Saturday. <sighs> Should we go to Home Goods? No, we shouldn't go to Home Goods. It's going to be so busy. Okay, let's just see if it's busy or not. <laughs> Okay, yeah, this parking lot is absolutely insane. We're not going inside. We're just gonna go to Target. This would be really good for my perfumes. I'm trying to get this. It's only five bucks. Back home now. Target was crowded, so I didn't vlog in there because it was just too many people everywhere. But I want to show you guys what I got. I think I was recording when I picked this up. So yeah, I got this one. At first, I was like, I'll put my perfume in it, but I don't have that many perfume to fit in here. Hopefully, eventually I will. That's one of the things I want to do is grow my perfume collection. But I'm gonna put something in here from the bathroom closet. Got this one for my makeup. I like that it had this tall section. I was really looking for something tall like this for my makeup brushes in. I only have one, but um. I needed something tall so that it's not touching anything. And then in the surrounding, I'm gonna put like other things in it. And then got some command hooks for my pictures. This is like my all time favorite eyebrow makeup. It is the e.l.f. Wow Brow Tinted Gel. So I got this and then I also got the Instant Lift Brow Pencil. I have been using these two for so long and they never let me down. And then that's all I got from Target. I also got Lubolica Juice, but that's all I got from Target. Nothing super crazy. I've been trying to not spend a lot of money. And I'm pretty proud of myself because I literally only went in for the thing that I said I was gonna get. We're gonna get started on the bathroom because it's gonna take me the longest. And I'm very, very like, I don't know why I'm putting this on the internet, but this is something that we need to get done to, to get ourselves right for the new year. So I'm gonna show you guys what I like to call my organized mess. I know where everything is. It's just really messy. This is our bathroom closet. Just, there's just things everywhere and it's just, looks terrible. Down here, I'm gonna have like all of our cleaning supplies and extra stuff. All of our like bed sheets are here. Towels are supposed to go here. I have to fold all of our towels there in the laundry room. And then this is where I keep like all of my extras, which I wanna just make it look nicer. Cause that, that is unacceptable. <laughs> That's what we're gonna tackle today. Also, I have to do this cabinet. This is like my, this cabinet, I have to do this drawer. This is like my everyday drawer. I have all of my skincare in here. And then my makeup is down here. Pimple patches, mouthwash, just a bunch of random stuff that just needs to be organized better. It bothers me to look at this stuff every single day and I've just been putting it off for so long because I know it's gonna take me a while, but we're getting it done today so that we could properly start the new year.
all done everything is in its place i have all of my travel stuff i can just quickly grab and go extra hair stuff extras that i don't use every day but will eventually use and then my everyday extras i don't know if anyone else gets like this but whenever you put stuff off because you think it's going to take you forever and you actually like are dreading doing it but then you start doing it and it's not actually not that bad like it's it's not terrible i'm feeling like dang Trina, you could have got this done a long time ago <laughs> okay i think i did pretty good so this is what it looks like now. Extra cleaning stuff, extra toilet paper, stuff like that. Sheets, towels will go there. And then here I did travel stuff, everyday restocks. My perfumes are lotions and then my jewelry. Here I put like all of the extras of everything as up there. Last thing we're gonna tackle in the bathroom is, oof, this drawer. <laughs> so here's before. is all done this is my everyday drawer i have all of my skincare in here i didn't change anything about this because this is perfect and then i have makeup here i think i'm gonna change this again i'll probably get like a makeup bag to keep just in this area because i don't like having my beauty blender out i need to replace this anyways but i don't like having my beauty blender out or my brushes so i'll probably get a makeup bag and then just slide that where this is setting spray hair oil more hair um hair what is it called <laughs> Hair gel, deodorant, aquaphor, Listerine, pimple patches, and then eyelash stuff back there. So this is perfect. And then I also did Lavelle's drawer. Made it look all nice. I think I'm done. I have a lot of trash to throw away. But other than that, we're done in the bathroom. I'm going to pause really quick. We're going to go to Costco because we need to get some snacks for the house. And then when we come back, we will do my vision board and talk about our 2024 goals. This year, instead of setting goals, I'm more wanting to set intentions. And something that I heard from another YouTuber that I really, really liked. Her name is Kaylin Kebler, Kebler, I'm butchering her last name, but she said to think about the person that you want to be at the end of the year and make your goals based off of that. I want to set goals that are going to get me to who I want to be at the end of the year. Thankfully, I feel like I am who I want to be now. I just could be better. There's little things that I definitely need to get better at in order to be the best version of myself. So I'm going to show you guys all the pictures that I printed out to make myself the best version of me. I won't go into all of these because I have a bunch but i just printed out a bunch of different words um some of them like i say i healed because i want to go to therapy this year i speak to myself kindly because i feel like i just need to continue to be better at that this one is probably one of my favorites it says restart reset refocus as many times as you need i am consistent need to be consistent in everything that i do i have obviously success we all want to be successful balance focus and then just a good reminder one that says i have a beautiful life some of the other things i have so i have a picture of girls out to maybe brunch dinner having champagne because i want to spend more time with my friends this girl i don't even know who this is i found it on pinterest but her body's amazing body goals so this just represents fitness staying in the gym i am really proud of myself for how consistent i have been in the gym and i just want to continue to do that so this is just a good reminder i want to go on another cruise we are going on another cruise so i kind of made this vision come to life and then i always put this on my vision board but i want to go to disneyland for christmas or i'll just go to disneyland in general i just want to go to disneyland specifically for christmas i don't know if it's going to happen this year but this is going to be on there next one it's a little bit more of a risque picture but basically i just like that she was like counting money and she has like she's like iced out with her bracelet her chain like she's holding a stack of money down here she just looks very luxury and like a bad you know i have dallas um i think i mentioned in a couple videos ago that we were thinking about moving to dallas we are still moving to dallas i just don't know when anymore some things had came up and we have a lot of trips planned this year that we don't know if we'll be able to hit our savings goal in order to move because we both don't want to move and put ourselves in debt we want to move and be comfortable i don't know if this will happen this year hopefully it does 
I'm, I'm still very hopeful that I'll be able to pay for everything we need to pay for and also get to our savings goal that we want to get to before moving in this year. I'm putting Dallas on there just in the event that it does happen because I hope it does. I really want to go. We're going back to Dallas this year to visit, but we'll see if we can move there. Hopefully we can make this happen this year. I have some lifestyle things. So I want to read 15 books this year. And then I have a picture of a closet. I want to fix my wardrobe. I want to get into more fashion. I don't I don't plan on posting any fashion content, but I want to get into like fashion in the sense of like finding out my own style, finding out what clothes I like. I want to get more basics, build a capsule wardrobe, things like that. And then these two kind of go hand in hand. I want to make sure that I always look put together. I want to have like weekly maintenance appointments. And when I say appointments, I mean doing it at my house. Like I want to make sure my nails are always done. I want to make sure my lashes are done. I want to keep up with my eyebrow appointments. Also my hair, like I always want my hair to be done. I always have like my jewelry on and just look and feel put together all the time. I will obviously have off days. I feel like this past year, I kind of just let myself go a little bit. So we're manifesting that I keep myself put together majority of the year. <laughs> Plus when I feel put together, I just feel a lot better about myself. And then I have three pictures of flowers that just represent self-love for me. Obviously want to show myself endless self-love all the time. Last two pictures we have are social media based. So I have a girl with a camera. I want to get back on my YouTube game. I also want to start telling people that I do social media rather than hiding it. I, I don't really talk about it to anyone. If it gets brought up, I get all shy. Like I want to stop that and I want to just put it out there that I create content. So I'm proud of myself for doing this because this is something that I've wanted to do for so long and you know, I've always been such a shy person and I was always in this like closed little box for so long that now that I do social media, I feel like I'm very proud of myself and how far I've come. And the fact that I even post myself on the internet is a lot for me because I struggled with that so much in the past when I was first starting out. I think I've talked about this before, but like I struggle with even vlogging from my friends and family and they all know that I do social media, but I wanna just start talking about it more and making it more normalized and not being so like weird about it when people ask me about it or, I don't know, just stop being so weird about it and stop putting so much pressure on myself when I'm recording these videos and thinking that like I'm too boring to post this long-winded explanation. Hopefully that made sense. I don't even know, I'm like rambling now. But I did set a goal for TikTok. I wanna hit 10K on TikTok. 10K is such a big number to me. I know it's not like big for a lot of people, but when I think of 10K, people following me, that's insane. And it's like 10,000 of you chose to follow me. So I would love to hit 10K on TikTok more if I could, but I think 10K is, good for now who knows you could literally blow up on tiktok in one day and then hit that in like minutes you never know what is going to go viral what is not i honestly don't want to go viral again my experiences going viral have not been always positive that's a lie i've only had one video that was not positive but it's kind of like triggering going viral your phone is constantly going off people are constantly asking you questions i feel like i have to answer every single comment and it's just not possible and then the other side of, of going viral I was getting bullied like I did over some shoes which was still so insane to me <laughs> when I think about it yeah I don't necessarily want to go viral I think I just want to find my target audience and build that community those are my 2024 goals let's go ahead and put my vision board together though I'm so excited I got a really cute I'll show you guys a, a cute picture frame so it's gonna like match my room I got this nice brown my room is very white like everything is white and I kind of want to get away from that because it's cold like my room feels just so cold So I want to start adding more Blacks and like this Color wood into my room and see if that kind of warms it up a little bit, but yeah, okay Let's go Done with my vision board. I think it came out.
perfectly. This frame is also really cute. I'm really glad I got a brown flame frame. Uh, I just love it so much. Okay, I need to figure out where I'm gonna hang it up though. I have a bunch of other pictures that I need to hang up as well. I think I'm gonna do like a gallery wall. So I might do it on this wall over here because I already have my calendar there, which I still need a chance since December, but I have my calendar there with my good vibes sign over it. So I don't really wanna put anything over there because I like having my calendar there. So I feel like this wall is the best. Ugh, I just love it so much. That's where I had it, yeah. It fills up the space perfectly next to the mirror. You have another wall right here. I'll probably get some more cute quotes to put around my vision board just because this wall just feels so bare. I don't know what to do with it. I'm gonna get a bigger mirror eventually so it'll take up more of the wall, but I need to add something over there. So let me know if you guys have any ideas of what I should put there. That's gonna be it for me this week. I hope you guys enjoyed. I can finally start my 2024. If you guys are not already, don't forget to subscribe on your way out. Leave me a comment down below of one of your 2024 goals and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Yeah, now I'm thinking, 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 now I'm